Welcome back to another episode of Paint and Spill. I'm your host, LB. Alright, today on Paint and Spill, I'm excited. <laughs> Because really, it's really that you find people that you love off the internet that comes to work with you. So I'm happy. This morning I'm sitting with teacher extraordinaire and TikTok sensation, Kitty. <laughs> Welcome to Paint and Spill. First of all, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for saying yes. Because you could have said no. You could have said, I would eat at this. <laughs> oh, right, man. Come on. I invite <laughs> me to places that I've never been. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You could have said no, but you say yes. So this is Paint and Spill, where we paint while we talk. Right. Right. So this mm. is the first time in Clarendon? No, but no. it's my first time here. Uh -oh. Actually here. Well, I passed through really. Thank you. For I've never coming. like stopped to do any business or anything like that. So, so we don't have no fun fit down here for your career go do. But when we become the mayor, <laughs> <laughs> when I become the mayor of Mipen, <laughs> we'll have more things, right? <laughs> right? So, what are we painting today? What are we painting today? Have any idea? For me, um, I will just let my creative juices flow for now. Is this a I like see how it comes out. All right, uh, but yes. my 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 <laughs> my people know that me campaign. So well, we we are about doing just just doing our thing. <laughs> All right. So I'll meet. Well, not met. This is the first time I'm meeting her, but I saw her videos on TikTok, and I loved it. I love the content. Thank you. Love the sense of humor. Thank so if you. you're watching, you can go and follow her on TikTok. And you, you guys is gonna let me at her. She make nice things. <laughs> but on our day job, she's a teacher. Right. And you know, I love teachers. I love math teachers. So she's, she's not a math teacher, but she teach math sometimes. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to be a teacher? All right, what inspired me? All yeah. right, so tell us. I I don't know if you know about this, but you we used to have um, youth service, youth service, national youth service. Yeah. where you go to camp and stuff. Mm -hmm. So back then in two thousand and eighteen, I went to camp. I went to Camp Chesterville. I will not, never forget. Oh. Right. So I went to Camp Chesterville, and there I did the. I did education because you have different cohorts, right? So oh. I did. I was in education, and I went to a school in my community to do my youth service at that time, where they pay your stipend. Yes. Right. So soon as I left school, like high school, mm -hmm. and I went to do my youth service, and I went, and from there, interacting with the kids, interacting with the teachers, I said to myself, this is something that I'm interested in, you know? Right. Right, and. Furthermore, to build my country, to build my community. Nation building, right? Right, na exactly, nation building. And to even be myself. We can only learn from people and you will be surrounded by other educators. And, stu and students, you know, students, they do, they have the capacity to teach you. Not because they may, may not can t um, be versed within a particular subject, but a lot of life skills. Right. Overall, they do teach you. They do teach us th things that you get to learn a lot from them and from their backgrounds. And really what drives them or what, what even stops them from excelling. They really, you know? They even really that. teach. The, the students really teach you a lot because yes. you'll be thinking about something one way. And yeah. you see them do it and you have like, whoa, oh. <laughs> it could have been done. Sometimes you make them know, say you didn't know it could be done like that. But sometimes mm -hmm. you're just marveling in your mind, right. say so them forget. So there's a, there's a lot of you can, you can learn from these small people, these True. little people, little people. So what, what, what's your philosophy? You know when they are up, up, up teaching, teachers' <laughs> college, they say if you have a philosophy of, of, of a teaching philosophy, what are your philosophy? What do you believe in uh, as a teacher? What do you believe the most as a teacher? I honestly believe that, although this is a mantra for education, but I'm not really going based on um, the, uh, um, the, 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 the educator, the Minister of Ed Ministry of Education, right. I'm not really basing, not basing it on You really them, believe this. But I really, yeah, I really believe that every child can learn and every child must learn. Right. But not necessarily in academics. You know, because there are different t 
things that Princi- you can learn. D- different, different disciplines mm-hmm. where people can, can excel, excel in. in. Right. right. So it's yes. not only, only, okay, you need to be bright in maths and be bright in language and be bright in science and all of those subjects, but you can be very brilliant right. in it's other a, areas, right? Like I'm a brilliant talker. <laughs> <laughs> not even debater, a talker. As much as yeah, there, there is something that I would like parents to understand, and is they all won't be ac- academically Academic. gifted. Right. They mm-hmm. won't all be. Ac- and get, you know, you know, the discipline that gets the most hate arts. Right. You know, I love arts, so. but you because have, you, have, you have so many variety in it. Because, um. I, well, my aesthetic really, when it comes down to dressing, to me, it's very, it's, it's hard, it's, right? It's hard. To me because I, 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 I like to be, I like to be different. I don't like to be the same. Right. And I like when, when the students overall, or people in general, express themselves. And I express myself through my dress. Right. Oh, yes, through my, my clothing. You can see... Right. A, you can see, you can basically know who I am when, when you see me out there. And I like people to express themselves in because you, you love to talk. You can, oh, yeah, yeah, so she, she thought, no, that's, that's your way of expressing yourself. Right. You have others expressing themselves by singing, drawing, mm-hmm. right, painting, even now. Right. All of those kind of things. And I really, I really love um, singing and dancing. I really love that type of expression. Like, I really, really love that. But although most of the time I have skills and talent still, but <laughs> and I really like that. I really like that form of expression. Me like it too. And I don't, yeah, I don't know why people put down art. Those, I, don't, yes, I, don't I don't, I don't know, know either why. because you we have a you have a parent realize that the child is gifted with in art, whether the child is a performer or the child is um, an artist. We use. Crayon and pencil and, and paper, right. and still a force depending if you go in one particular area where they're not gifted enough. Exactly. You don't respect art, but you say you, you use a money watch, you use a money watch TV, watch movies. You move on. movies is art, oh, yeah, you have the designer, the performers, the designers, the makeup artists, it's all that is all of art. Those so, you are telling a pity, say, No, you're not that, you're gonna be doctor I, and sit down and watch TV. I think it's them really, though, that, that type of mentality is. Because of society, I and believe. Because, yes, and because society tells us that okay, if you're not a teacher, lawyer, doctor, nurse, and all of those kind of things, you are basically nothing, which is so Bull yeah, rap. foolishness. Bull and rap. for any educator out there and other professional, knows your foolishness. Trust me, one. It's to, not all sunshines over here. <laughs> a few, a few years ago, I posted before I was in the classroom. A few years ago, I posted on on Facebook that we should stop training our students to be employees. Exactly. We're training to be employees, even with the rules. You tell them, say, about bad rules because when they get a job, there's yeah. rules at a job. Uh, even though I still encourage you to abide by the rule, but I don't use the when they get a job. This exactly. is what I tell my students. If you become a boss, you'd mm-hmm. like your employees to abide by your rules, right? Mm-hmm. So, me no, me no talk like I want them to be subservient. Not that something is wrong with being employed, but right. we, on a mass scale, we teach, mm-hmm. we teach children them to be employees. We exactly. teach them to be employees, and not in my class. Somebody in my class is definitely going to be <laughs> a boss. Let me tell them, me tell them, say, when I'm going to be something, I'm not know which one yet. It's are more than one. Me, because I, am, I uh, know more than one, but me, me say at least, least one. one. At least one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because so, when you look at it really and truly, you know, when you look especially now in the 21st century, how the world is going, it's not really professions in terms of academical professions really striving mm-hmm. non-traditional professions it's, are right, trying. Not, exactly look look the fastest one is usain bolt you know those kind of people like you know bright would put certain people in certain position yes so you, well, you look at you have so many other things well, well i don't want somebody to be watching and think that we're 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 talking about hard work Hard work is different from um, academics. Hard work is really different from academics because you say yes, did do. work yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah, but did not hard, in terms right? of academic. Right. There's this, what's your name? I don't know if I know her name, Yannick Page. 
Yes, I know Yannick Page. She, so, she um, Yannick Page and never know a, 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 right. a student. She said out her head, out her mouth. She mm -hmm. was not a student. But she's thriving and she's a, what do I call it now? World renowned. I can't use the word world renowned. Entrepreneur. Because yeah, she entrep traveled right. from here and there with her business. She didn't even do on TV. I'm used to watch her on Innovators. Innovators, right? Yeah, I used to yes. watch her mm -hmm. in, watch her Innovators. So, you know, Huffy. You should work hard at school, but mm -hmm. if you're doing your best and your best is a B, if you're doing your best, if you know that you are doing your best and your best is a B, <laughs> fine by me. And and as educators, we need to stop like from bashing students when they do not perform well academically because a lot of them they can, as I said, in the heart they can do so many other things. Some of them when they sing, we need to push those kind of things more. They can dance. You know, when any fun, any sports day, you see who can run and those things that you can have a career out of that enough to be you no know, traditional worker, you know. So we need, as educators, we need to push that as well for the kids and Listen, show them that they can do other things outside of. This guy, academy. this boy about last year or the year before, I think it was the year before, three million dollars, he won playing video games. Even, even that, you know, we sometimes we, we are, well, parents, I'm not a parent, but parent, because I, I, I teach students and I interact with parents. Um, oh, you can't go take a book, you can't this, you can't that, I'll do a pay this, I'll pay that. But the thing about it, what we need to learn now is how to direct them correctly. It's not how to bash them or put them down and say this is wrong or this is right. It's how to direct, and that is what a lot of us in educators and even parents for a short time. We don't know how to direct the students in the right, right. path. So with me now, I tell my students, uh, when I give homework in my class, it's not it's due the next week. I'm going to give homework to them tomorrow. For tomorrow, okay. Because this is what I tell them. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to develop the habit of overworking, mm -hmm. and I don't want to develop the habit of working on the weekend. Mm -hmm. when, I tell my, when, it's, when it's exam time, I tell my students, uh, you we announce exam three weeks before exam come out right mm -hmm. use the three weeks wisely put yourself on a timetable schedule your study time schedule your chores schedule so that's right. that's how i talk to my students mm -hmm. and make sure i tell them to listen you need time to relax my children them know say it's okay to relax so and me tell any of them have my homework i do on the weekend i them want to do it on the weekend mm -hmm. because i gave if me give tuesday you know do till next week tuesday mm -hmm. because me you know i don't want them to develop this attitude that they have to be doing some of them come at grade seven and i saw them cry I mean, yeah. I, I, me now go tell another. I really don't like it when they are driven by grades. Me now say you're not be ambitious, you know. But when they're gonna be driven by grade, that if I get a ninety, I go say you're not pass. You're not pa yeah. That's the, I, I don't, don't like that. I, it will sight them out mentally. Mm -hmm. So when I talk to them, especially grade seven, I tell them, listen, schedule the thing so you can do everything that you want. Cause mm -hmm. if you, if you have a schedule, you can do everything we want to. Know. Exactly, and that is also teaching them how to be organized right and that, uh, is, that's what a lot of um of, of us charge for right for short on we are not organized like we, we don't put with things <laughs> sometimes but sometimes it's over beard especially for adults Wee. but i mean you know we can't teach Wee. them yes help because them. that is so in, that is so good yeah help them help strike them. a balance exactly my one little one boy in one play game i don't have any problem with him playing no, the game but, the but what it. i tell him is you can't do it for the entire day because right. your health so me explain to him say you, you, you're you're increasing the risk of certain things if you want to do this one thing over and over mm -hmm. right so it's, it's a matter of guidance i would say guide mm -hmm. if we not have it together as adults, as adults yeah them look at tiny people they don't have it together yeah mm. yeah so, basically right guiding. as i said we need to learn how to to guide them right so you, you've been in the classroom for a very a good amount of time right yes, I how have. would you describe your presence in the classroom do you you just teach go home or do you ensure that you're making an impact how would you describe your presence in i the classroom? would say i am definitely i'm not gonna be like a boil on something so <laughs> definitely making an impact um, yeah, trust me because you, I, I, i've been to at several schools and even today, school that I left years ago, I still get mess text messages 
saying thank you and when they reach certain grades and say thank you when they even leave school. That's my Thank you, Miss Case. Nice. And you understand Miss Case name? Like they know my name. Mm -hmm. Like anywhere we go and whatsoever. Because what I do, I build relationships. I just I just oh teach and do this. You're supposed to do that. No, I build relationship with my students and parents. That is the yes. key. That is the key, That's Miss. What I do. You mm. can't you're not somebody what did I say? I'm not teaching subject. I'm teaching students. I'm not That's teaching a subject. I'm yeah, teaching students. students. And if a child is in my class unhappy or hungry, oh my god, oh my god. That's what it's this was way. before Corona. No, you can't really see them. Yeah. If you know who it happy or who sad. hungry, and that's this, that's the sad part. But mm -hmm. when we were face to face, you could have read the room yes. and you know say, all right, you know say, Mary now have a good day today, and I can see what I can do to assist me. When my dear school, me start eat me lunch with my class. Yeah, but you know, you know class. that's one of the big problems I realize now. Because even I'm using myself as an example, like when they leave teachers' culture, they leave any school or any institution, mm -hmm. they realize that basic life skill you don't know. And a lot of these students, they are not among parents or even family members who really know themselves. So, as teachers, as educators, we need not only maths and English and all of these right. things. You need, we need to teach them life skills. Right. You know, help them, sh help so. them, show them how they can learn how to f to f do financing. Right. Um, have relationships. Right. Build relationships. It must have been like a fair reason, you know. <laughs> because that's what I do with my class. Yeah. So, my, my online class, no, you finish? No, I'm me, me. Oh. I'm just as I said, just I'm just letting it flow. <laughs> my 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 current class that I have now, I had them mm -hmm. when they were in grade seven, but they met up when they just come. The first day when we come in, that's what we talk about money management. Mm -hmm. Money management because me tell them say I don't want them to reach twenty six and in a debt like them farm teacher. <laughs> no, if it's true, me tell I them it's true. Yeah. Me tell them say, okay, I don't want you to be twenty six and you're in debt. So if you can avoid um certain things from no that's fine I'm still, i don't know who is listening but me guarantee say one of them i listen mm. and then next three four years they're gonna hear miss salta this is what i did when you were talking and it worked out i'm waiting for that day my class me teach them a fit fold fitted sheet because me never learn of a four fitted sheet and tell me a big old tough yeah, turbid. Yeah, yeah. life skills. We, we don't know basic life skills that we are left school and okay, we so we so right. right. Oh yeah, we can solve any math problem. We can we can do any and experiment. You can't survive. And we cannot survive cannot out survive. here in the streets. We cannot survive in these streets. Exactly, we cannot survive in this for me. I said no, sir. You no. don't know how that's that's so that's another that's a, that's one of the reasons for my other show. Sing with my the captain. Mm -hmm. But talk about life insurance, but talk about student loan. Me talk about, me teach them for fitness, me talk about networking, all yes, there, something all there. Other oh, um, other topics today when we not touch it, me want to talk about stress management because how do you manage your personal stress that you know grow and bleed on people? people. That's the thing. Yeah, we, we have to manage our stress. Yeah, that's the thing. 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 Yeah, that's the Parenting from a broken place. That's why some. That's why some of the, yeah. some of them can't really parent very well because they parenting from emptiness. Then parenting uh -huh. from emptiness. They parenting from nothing. Then parenting from their own brokenness. So that's what they know. And I, 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 I somebody told me this, and I will never forget it. And I can share it. And I always share it with people. And because um, to be a little personal, I. My family structure wasn't that great. Right. Just, just, that's um, it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. And uh, I was talking to a, a counselor, and the counselor said to me, <laughs> um, people cannot give you what they do not have. And from that mm. day, I look at things, I look at people, I look at situations differently. Like, it's so different in my right. mind. And I try, now I can understand that really and truly this person, if you don't have love, you cannot give love. Even if you have compassion, you cannot give compassion. So Amen. Say, okay, and these people, they really do not have it. So, a lot of times now, we more pity people more than... Right. angry right. when they do certain things. So, right. they really understand that they do not know. They, they, they do not know. Right. Them not understand themselves because they never get it, and 
See, they don't know it's it. It's a tradition of, of foolishness, basically. They, and they don't even realize that they I don't know. have it. Because if you, if you realize, say, you don't have a particular thing, mm -hmm. th then you can go get it. Right. But you don't realize, say, yeah, you don't realize, you know realize say, you have it. And one way of knowing yourself, you have to listen when and take criticism. You know, so sometimes it hurts when somebody has a negative right. thing about you. Right. But you have because that's how, because a lot of times you think you're doing a particular thing and you don't know you're coming across to others. Right. And when you tell us, okay, this is how I feel when you do this, you must understand and try to adjust and not say, oh, many, do not, you don't know. This. So you have to understand this is how right. you are coming across, but we just feel say we're right. And yep. we don't take talking. You don't take criticism and criticism. you always feel attacked. Like somebody attack you. I mean, I attack you. I just tell us say, the way how you do this is it, it not right. And it's right. like, oh my God, exactly. wrong color. Jesus, wrong color, wrong color. Right. <laughs> yeah, something like one good man. <laughs> Are they one? Are they one portrait? Me know for the end. That's the way. Your art, your hearts, them look nice. Your hearts look nice. But you know the classroom. You know you face a lot of challenges. Left, mm -hmm. right, center. Have you ever yes, faced a dear. difficult student? You ever have a difficult I, I, student? I, I think everybody. You know, I think all of us. All have of us have encountered a difficult student. Exactly. Right? But, but um, difficult in 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 what? Regards. Oh, you can't yeah, find discipline. Discipline, okay. discipline wise. I'm, I'm, when I talk, when I talk about the, the difficulties, mm -hmm. I'm talking about like, you really indiscipline. Indiscipline. Oh, yeah. Because guess what? You see them difficult regarding academics, but they're mm -hmm. willing. Willing. They yeah. can't work with them. Right? Yeah, but when them really stubborn, it's hard. It's, it's hard, yeah. really, really hard. It's it's a challenge. Very. very but much you know, challenge. we we have to take on the challenges, you know, because that's what we are here for. But in terms of um difficult, I can give this story, and this is, <laughs> this is one I will never forget. I was at a particular school, and I had this boy, very bright, brightest in the class, very bright, bright Pitney. I gave something, do it. And just ready for me to give more trouble. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is that in the first term, couldn't agree. Couldn't agree, I mean, being disrespectful him. And sometimes, yes, as a te um, teacher, it, it's like me and you. Yeah, and time. Me have to hand time. Me <laughs> have to, yeah, me have to tell him two words. Oh, to leave parents, get involved, and even, you understand, school. Right. And to the, I mean, you know what we do, me? You want more? Me, thank you. Me, uh, me sit down and me think about him. I said, what can I do to reach this student? Right. And what I start, started to do is like, I'll make him my best friend. You're going to make him my best friend? So I'm a best friend this now. So I'm going to put him right, you know? You're right, him right inside inside you. Yes. Every time I come to class, I hear so you see this. <laughs> yeah, so me, me and your friend now. <laughs> All right. Any responsibility? You, you give get him. it. Yes. Right. And you get it. Are you, are you, you're a big boss. You know, because sometimes I read the attention they want, you know. I, and not, I they're know. not getting attention, but they just want your they attention. They want it from you, the authority want it from figure. you, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I see my take time come around and whatever. I so, all right, good, good, nice. All right, so, you start come around and start being a little bit. But you know, say, in, it's, is is it's going to still be there because, you know, in those You know, you know, room, room not built over there. Yes. Yeah. You know, I got us going so. And he started taking the time, come down and whatever, till he started carrying like a gift, come give <laughs> <laughs> no, I carry, give it um, something like Christmas, something, and give me, when he, he, he left and went overseas and carry gift for me for a friend, I mean, I said, wow! So many little big A little effort, just a little effort. You know what I mean? Yes. So sometimes we have to just try to understand them and change the rules because sometimes we have to cuss them out that now and go do nothing that right. night help them. Right. And so mommy I say, yeah, but that, that, that child in the way really, really hard to deal with. So what I did was to make him my friend. Right. So I say, when me and friend, you can't go quality out the time. Window. You spend quality time Getting to know, with him. Right? Getting to know him, quality time, exactly. Giving him certain responsibility. Okay. All right, yeah. Because, you know, you can't, if you are going to be class monitor, you can't, you can't misbehave. Mm -hmm. You have to uphold a certain standard. Mm -hmm. So that is, a, yeah, that, that was another thing. And start, come down and come around. I mean, like that. Yeah, huh? come right around. And to date, 
even now, oh even the parent, my parent man became good friends to all of me. Imagine if they write him off. <laughs> Not sure, because I, I, we do that a lot of times, you know. Teachers write up a lot. Yes, of a lot of times we do that. We, my picnic, we can't be the picnic, the picnic too, but I don't want to save her. I'm sure. But then, but then again, how how do you um as a teacher with forty hard picnic night like class? Mm -hmm. You got you got enough right to have somebody because uh, push out come to shove where you just feel like say how much can you it's too yeah it's too much persons in the class too many persons emotion too many persons you have to be monitoring mm -hmm. because think about all me when they are high school I may have eight classes where I teach subjects mm -hmm. plus the class that I'm a form teacher for. Mm -hmm. All those children and responsible for, for their emotional yeah. well-being, their social well-being. When do I? When get do I get yourself. time for re even regroup, recuperate? Some people, yeah, uh, you get I don't drained think, I don't think by it's the time you re you, you right can't save everybody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 you can't, you can't save, save everybody. everybody. Which is that that me a dally, mm -hmm. dilly dally around. You yeah, can't, you save, can't everybody. save everybody. Which is true. Uh, yeah, that's just because you're one and they are hundred. So it's one to one hundred, like the ratio there. It's like, really too it, much. You get me and say it's too much for one person, so I, we understand. I've that. been on a crusade trying to get twenty five students per class. <laughs> if me ever go to school one day and get twenty five people in my class, <laughs> me I tell us say mm -hmm. it would be heaven on earth. No twenty five children. I just want the twenty five children. That's the miracle that I want God to give me. 25 children per, 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 per class. That's all. Uh, you know how much things we can do with 25 but, children? <laughs> well, that is true. But the thing about it, I think that if they, like, I am more teachers and lower the, the, the teacher to student ratio, I think they're going to find more work to give because I'm just. Yeah, me feel so too. fine work. <laughs> I feel so. I, I feel so. I so. I so. get more I, different I, work. <laughs> Some additional so, work. So, so um, <laughs> none of us were really prepared for the shift from online to from face to face, face to online. To face, so, mm -hmm. how how did you adjust adjust to the shift from online from face to face to online? I think as a teacher, I adjusted well because I am computer literate. I'm I'm, I'm fairly good with the computer, right. and I did my research in terms of um, um things online with, that I can use apps sites mm -hmm. all of those um learning and teaching management things online i know we get the google classroom and stuff and to work with but i think in terms of students it was it's it was a task or it is a task because I, attendance you know, participation attendance, participation yes and sometimes internet con um, connectivity con yeah connectivity mm -hmm. internet issues data issues and device issues that was a big one you know, people poor, you know, have it and... So the factors kind of affecting the teaching and learning process increased. increased so, right. yeah, we rely upon flow, yeah, we rely upon data, yeah, we rely upon device. Mm -hmm. So many things that uh, were hurdles mm -hmm. will come up for the students, them overcome. It was, it was really, 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 yeah. really a task. So, so. so yeah, did, <laughs> do you like it? Did you continue? Uh, online, honestly, no. Because... At least when you go to school, everybody can come to school, they can reach who you can reach. Right. In that way. But when you're online, it is no the parents' responsibility and the students' responsibility, which you know say here and if we can if we should be fair and truthful, the parents them not them not really they're up to par with certain <laughs> things. They're not they're up to par. We go back to what you go back to mm -hmm. what you said they're about up to par. go back to what you said where your friend tell you they can't give what they don't have. Well that's an next thing. Some par <laughs> some parents really don't have the capacity to facilitate mm -hmm. the child through online learning. They can't adapt some some parents old. Yeah, if you can't take that into consideration, some parents old, mm -hmm. some children live with grand grandmothers yes. and grandfathers. <coughs> some parents refuse to help, but all that thing. You know what they really? But I think other than all of that, I th well, they re yeah, they refuse all of the parents to help. Because I don't think that is a major thing. Because some of them will have devices, some of them, yes, them not, have, them not come across, but if you go scroll through TikTok yesterday, 
You see them funny TikTok. So it's not the that the device or whatever they doesn't have no money no no management at home. They I just know. do what they feel like. But who are ready for that conversation? Who is gonna have that conversation with the parents? Well, that mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the way a glorified babysitter is. <laughs> 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 oh my ah, god, the truth. Okay. can I tell you? Mm -hmm. Can I tell you? Like, parents just are wait, like, want to school up. Like, somebody say, Well, on there, you're going to wait for one whole year. Suppose, um, this supposed to come in September, school can come face to face again. That, like, what are going to do? You're going to wait and wait and wait and wait because that's a parents a call. Ah, um, what's well, going to open? And then when they say, When Mr. they say, Give me a office number, can I then just, and then just, then the easy, like, then just a wait, like. All right, you no school for you until face to face. What yeah. if? Face but the, and you can and you can repeat years. the child. The child lose one whole year of one learning, whole year. one whole year of learning. So with all the challenges that are whether face to face or online, with all the challenges we face, usually a year people ask about how you motivate the students. But I want to ask you, how do you stay motivated with all these challenges? The one them in a face to face and the one them online with all these things. How do you stay motivated? I say, oh, I say motivated. I look at it like I'm doing something. Higher than myself, to be honest, because I do genuinely love my students, mm -hmm. and I love people in general, and I, I I have a great understanding of people. I think what I know, because what I do, I know myself. So in turn, knowing myself, I can see where others may be coming from in different situations. So I really do care for them. So I think that I am doing something bigger than myself. So I think if I can touch one, two, three student mm -hmm. or make an impact i think that i did something so, so when does that run out when does that run out? honestly and should we shame teachers for wanting more than that no no because at the end of the day and i i reach a point now where I, I i started saying it's either selfish or selfless and we have been selfless so it's either we are going to be selfish or selfless and at some point of course you're going to be selfish because at the end of the day this is your life right and you can't live a life just to to go to school or to give back right. to people yeah and then again you have to have to give yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you have to have to give you can't when I, give from one empty place me lose one of these something this okay <laughs> so you, know, you have to have to give one of your tiktoks so will really make me laugh or you say oh my god what you say, yo, she never said, oh my God, in there. Oh. <laughs> what you say, um, mm -hmm. your student, when a student come back and I go on vacation, what are you? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> it's true. It's I really true. true. So when, true. Does, <laughs> when does Girl. service, when does service become second? When does Girl. service, and should we, sh I don't think we should shame the teachers who is, who have, who are, they have had enough of service. Yeah, that's I, what I, don't I don't think so. At some point, you see that selfish or selfless, and mm -hmm. we have been selfless. Right. So no, it's selfish or selfish, so some people reach a point where, because sometimes we, we try to see if the, the bigger heads, let me put, me, I want to say bigger heads, I'm, I'm not going to say people in the power, but the bigger heads, mm -hmm. I think um, the modern kind of see how we down here they struggle and how we are trying, but apparently not. Apparently there is some more to give, and and to be honest, I fear I I I blame some of us too, as teachers because we give so much, give so much, give so much, and then we complain, complain, and then they call me, and you're still like giving, and you're still not changing. You're, you're still not giving. Nothing. You're still giving. So at, you need to show that you are genuinely tired. So it's, if it's not to go to this meeting, you're just tired. If it's not to go to this, and not everything, then jump up, say, do this, do this, do this, uh, whatever. I'm not saying do not do your job. But then again, I think this is more than a job. This is a life thing. It's like, it's like it takes it's, over your it's life. It's real sacrifice. Yes, it's a sacrifice. Making it, making it happen is real sacrifice. And it's a realization that people are just having. And uh, I don't know. And it's how due to long. COVID, and they still do not understand because I still have persons coming to me and say, "But you're not doing so what COVID you worse. COVID what? increase it. We're, like make it worse. Cause guess what? <laughs> no boundaries were were held during COVID. Te um, parent a call of phone after mm -hmm. hours. COVID COVID make other people whenever have your access to you before I have access to you now. So after hours, I'm never put up, you know, you just get my number recently. But before mm -hmm. you get my number, I had to put it up on my status. Don't message me after five thirty. 
Don't message me after five thirty regarding and if I can't message the office, don't message me. If I can't if it's a time that the office is not open, don't call me. I'm me, me fear school over two thirty, I'm gonna give it till five thirty. Why you gonna message exactly. me eleven o'clock for mm -hmm. No. And no. if you don't do it, how that teacher is? Weekend. Teacher, Let me not have family too. Like, you know, I have no mm. life. And you need to understand that, okay, you have a child going to school. Teachers have a child, two children going to school as well. They have to cater for their children. I mean, I say, we can't, I cannot understand how people can use their own um, experience no. and self to understand somebody else. Your teacher is supposed to be available 24 7. Yeah, I mean, I understand. And what do they have say? Oh, yeah, I get paid for this. You know, that's something that hurt me bad. <laughs> no, for sure. Or they want to hurt me. That's something that hurt me bad. And yeah, you choose to be teacher. That hurt me. So, is it because I mean, choose to be teacher? That is our next one. I mean, but I said, you know, I don't say, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't say, I don't say a lot. But, mm -hmm. yes, because you tell me, I mean, choose to be teacher. You give me back uh, the power, so I have power to choose. Exactly. So I just set up myself in a particular way. It might take me five years, might take me two, I don't know, but I set up myself. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if I leave the classroom, it's not a matter of not loving the children anymore. Exactly. It is a matter of. And when, when, when you say anything, people say, oh, think about the kids. I have been thinking about the how kids. How long can you think yes, about the kids? I have so been thinking asking, about the kids. How long? long can I, you cannot, think about I, the kids? I, I, I cannot spend. 10 years, five, uh, not my friend, I cannot spend 20 years, yeah. what, 30 years, 40 years in one space. You can't pour from an empty no, buckle. No, you no. can't pour from an empty buckle. And you know, me, me realize the taking out the teachers and the administration out of the equ equation completely. They want to call teachers and administration out of the equation. They just focus on parents and teachers. Parents and, and students, parents and students. Uh, parents and students uh, 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 one thing that I was so upset about in the pandemic, when it come out to the hairstyle and uh, in publicly say via the newspaper, say, well, the school have to turn back the, the children them. Mm -hmm. You can't do that to your principals. Mm -hmm. You call a meeting and say with the principals and say, okay, no principal, we're going to revisit these rules, rules. come right. in January 1, this is a new rule. You know, announce when the rule is still intact at the school. I never did want to talk about it, but we've talked about it because guess what? Mm -hmm. When they do that, they put the school and the principals in a very tight position, position. because parents are going to come and say, ministry set. That's the thing. I know what next thing when ministry did talk, say. Talk to the child, talk to the, the principals first. Okay, principals, we're advancing and these rules are becoming null and void. Okay, now these air styles are allowed. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. No, Publicly come before you talk to the principal and put them in a one tight position. So you understand? That this, that's the thing. A lot of things they go and say publicly without we, we don't know it. And sometimes when we hear it, we shock yourself when we hear parents say it. And that's true. When we go listen to me and say, Really? Like we, we never get the memo on this. You know me? what it hurt me when you remember when tablets when, when the first tablets were given out to the teachers and and the students mm -hmm. and they said okay and they they went I'm gonna say they they went and and say openly oh teachers and students are getting tablets mm -hmm. now when teachers not have the best or whatever um um parents come and say. Ministry said ministry tablet, said they, tablet they give it and ministry said putting they get tablet and teacher get tablet. I'm saying but ministry didn't specify that. Teachers who are permanent who are who were permanently employed in 2018 or from 2018 getting tablet. And not every teacher get tablet. And even back then, something because people I don't I, it shouldn't be that, but that's what was. And then you know go and say you don't say that. Then just say oh you're getting tablet and you're getting and teachers and, and students getting tablet. Who? You whenever every teacher and student. Right. So that's the thing I, that's, that I was really like, because yes, let me tell you, I, I, mean, I was, me never said this publicly before, I was like, no. Yes, mm -hmm. I think the hairstyle rule needs to be revisited. I think the hairstyle mm -hmm. rule needs to be, that's my personal thing. Person, that's not mm -hmm. off where I work. That's, that's my, per I think, it, but the way how they did it, I did not appreciate it because mm -hmm. parents are going to show up the next day and say, ministry say, parents text me, students text me and ask me if like a ministry if they can't wear bread if they can't wear bread no, that's not how you do it you talk to the person you talk to the union if you don't want to talk right. to the principal mm -hmm. talk to the union we'll cover we'll go over in the body and say tell the principals that coming june coming july coming august mm -hmm. 
there we will revisit Visit, this yeah. rule and it should reflect this 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 you understand what i mean say but who am i i don't am nobody <laughs> i don't know anything right um, they, they don't they don't understand like how much like of the backlash we get in this way they made it they rules know and well i think they know you but know, i think overall like parents are the general public so who are backlash with them? They yeah, know. Yeah, but most of them don't, they don't understand. They don't understand as in, you know, the system or it works. Right. You know, see, on social media, or they lard with and trace with when they're yeah, ready. All the time. <laughs> so that's about yeah, teaching. Let us let us talk about nicer things. <laughs> where we <laughs> well, we'll so. find you. Like, what inspired you to join TikTok? Tell uh, us about it. Tell us a TikTok story. TikTok, me love TikTok, 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 TikTok me love yeah. it bad. We love it now. And all right, so you know, it's funny. I want to be student and about TikTok. When I student, yes. I want to be student and about TikTok because I then me download it and me start watch the videos. So for one whole year, I did have TikTok just watching videos, just laughing, giggling. Hey, that's when the pandemic just started. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just the fan TikTok and my sister said, but you can't post. I mean I said no. I mean I said, all right, if you post one, me post one. <laughs> and that was yeah, the truth. And she she post one. I mean I said, all right, it was a day because she, she must have did just cause she stopped posting or she not post she, some more. <laughs> and you're going with yourself. So she said, all right, I said, all right, you post one, all right, I'm gonna post. I'm say initially I wanted my my page to be about fashion because I I'm passionate about fashion. I right. love fashion, yes. So I said, all right, what is that easy one to do? And it's Sunday, I'm there. I said, she even helped me film, film it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and all right, and the slippers one, like cheap slippers in Jamaica. Right, me they come in for the one day. Mm -hmm. May have, I mean, I may have the exact one. No, not that, but that, oh. that's a more that's a more recent one. I mean, oh. the first first ever video. May I forget? It fast. was a Sunday. I said, hey. footless. Um, I'm gonna look for you. Yes, it was the first first video. I said cheap slippers. Um, we can't find cheap slippers here. Well, cute cheap slippers because nice, but clean and cheap basically. I think see it. Yeah, clean and cheap basically. And I put it up and she said, "Oh, me get over one thousand views." And I said, "Wow, I feel good. That's nice. <laughs> I feel good." I said, "All right, motivation." <laughs> so. The first one, and then we say, all right, we look at other simple ones that I can do. Cause you know we can't really tell. You know, you know, the more you do it, the more you get comfortable. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we start going to the acting ones. <laughs> so those are the ones that I love. Yes, I'm going to the acting ones. I say, like, okay, all right, all right. The teaching, the teaching, the teaching one nice one is working. I say, all right, and I stick to that one for now. Mm -hmm. When we yeah. find somebody glad because <laughs> <laughs> so we are taught the thing. Yes. <laughs> Girl, well I mean, I didn't follow immediately. Yeah. Like, I didn't follow immediately. Yeah, because guess what? Before now, teachers mm -hmm. weren't public on social media. Yes, yeah, like true. them just if they end up on it, they keep a low profile. profile. They can know blah blah blah. But the world is changing. Social exactly. media, social media is the new workplace. Mm -hmm. You want of endorsement fly away. You want endorsement and sponsorships and opportunities can open up from social media. Exactly. Why not embrace it? That's my next question. Like what teachers on social okay, media. I you. <laughs> I mean, I, I met you. Oh. Yeah, well, and, and you can get to collab with other people with, yeah, and you know, open up and doors. Yeah, you know, network, yeah. There's a whole side of TikTok with just teachers. Mm -hmm. Teachers where I teach, teacher where I show what they're wearing at the classroom. Class, yeah, teacher. different. To show that teachers are human beings. Can people just swear so, we're some, we don't know. That's a mean different. Yeah, yeah, different. Man. Something like when are you man? See, this is my last question. <laughs> Do you think that teachers are placed on a higher pedestal than everybody, everybody else. else? Yes. Yeah, that's my last question. May have yes. It's, it's really. I understand. We're at the highest standard. You cannot wear this. You cannot, you cannot wear do this. that. You cannot. We're and the, the, the students don't care. Can I say? They don't care. Because, because them no say. Um, Things for wear because they see their cousin wear, they see their auntie wear. Then, so why must as a teacher must pretend like me? I'm going to make a this exact choice. Somebody really like come to me and I say, I'm a teacher of a child. He plays hard. 
sorry for shout at you the, the who are watching but it's so annoying it is yes you, you, you just saw you see me like with, with, with you like a red one with oh, the flowers yeah, yeah. we were gonna make pen running a parent oh like that the, the peplum yeah my run we were gonna make pen the time hot we're gonna want to see me in a jacket and tie leave us alone if you don't have nothing to say don't say anything to us and I'm, I'm a serious about that next thing to no. sorry sorry for your rant <laughs> i'm so sorry no, to be ranting it's true i'm gonna share the same another thing you see me in a t in a the town in a the summer if i'm ready for go back to school Call, okay. to me, call, call, this fly. call to me and don't ask me if I'm ready for go back to school. Please. Just please let me just have a break. I mean, we never have a real break. It doesn't say we don't have a break. And people don't understand that. When time teachers say they work, well, we don't know about any other teacher, but me, I work 12 months per year. 12 months <laughs> per year. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It should be flawed. <laughs> them, we them think we get holiday. Then thing we get out of there, no media, we still have to go to staff meetings, we still have to prepare our classroom things, we still have to do our documents to bring in, reports to do, a lot of something like people don't understand. Classroom, people you, don't you are understand. at the primary school level, you have to actually decorate a classroom. Yeah, no? Exactly. Oh my you God. You have to have a different corners. And only because of COVID, now you know, say so we're not good, but still, you still have to put up whatever because you know, some, some students still come to school. Well, it decorate last year. It no. decorate class. Oh, but it's, uh, we we were preparing for physical school, so we had to do right. things. But uh, um, I don't want you to hear us. I don't want somebody who is young to be watching and get discouraged from being a teacher, right? Somebody out there that wants to mm -hmm. be a teacher, where that tell them? <laughs> honestly, it is a selfless, selfless job. Honestly, it is a selfless job. So you have to prepare for it and you, you, you I know that you don't know the, the inside of the, the system and whatever, mm -hmm. but you see, you can hear teachers talk, you see, like we are not telling any lies or we're not making up anything or whatever. It's true. It's not bashing, but all of these get work and um, paperwork, all of these kind of things. It is true. But honestly, I they they say it's a noble job, but honestly, no, I don't see where it's, where it's a noble job. No, because the way they treat teachers, to be honest, no, here uh, I I don't I don't feel it's like global. Noble. It's not only here. It's yeah, global I, don't, as well. I, I don't I don't I don't feel noble. It's, so I don't say it's a selfless. And if you want to <laughs> do it, do it. That, that honest. That, just that's my honest prepare answer. your mind. Prepare yourself to, to know. Sacrifice. Yeah, to prepare sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice. Nobody told us because exactly. these Nobody conversations yeah. weren't being held or had or whatever the grammar is, man. I remember them yeah. never did have them kind of conversation with we. We just see teacher, love teacher, and want to be teacher. Yeah, I want to be. Yeah, that's the thing. And even when I got college, I'm telling oh, it's a good time to join because X X money now and X and why why? Me I tell them when you come in I want different something. Me I tell you say, I want me surprise. Right, right. and uh, me uh -huh. surprise. Persons are leaving the professional globally. Like, oh my God! They're changing fast, to fast. something, something else, and only a few countries where teachers, uh, are Sweden. I, mean, I don't remember. I'll fact check the country. I don't remember which country it is. Mm. E you, you must have a master's degree to be a teacher. It's oh. two teachers in Perfect. a class. Yes. Mm. So you know, say you know, stress. They you, mm. you have somebody in there with you, and them salary comfortable mm -hmm. yeah so you have you have a few countries oh they prioritize teachers mm -hmm. but if it, but even the u.s you have you have um teachers aid yeah but u.s still have local problems so i want to thank you for coming to my show i really appreciate it uh, are you gonna show me. them what you drew oh no yeah sure Tell them where you're drawn. I'm full of love, people. <laughs> me actually love that. Thanks. Thank you full of love. <laughs> that me can't really draw. So I'm just paint what me know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me love that. So. Thank you. You'll carry it home? Sure, yeah. Yes, yes. I, I have to. Carry yes, I have to carry it home and say, okay, my first collab ever. Right. My first collab. <laughs> and when she starts her channel, she'll have me over there. Yes, definitely. Right, She's right. encouraging me, so I, I am going to. Yes. She'll do it. <laughs> 
So, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to Spain, Paint and Spill. Thank you for sharing. Because you never did have to share. And you can follow her on TikTok. She makes amazing content over there. Me love her. I love her. You probably love her too. So, um, thank you for watching another episode of Paint and Spill. Please remember to like, comment, and share. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, that was good. I did love that. You're welcome. You're welcome.